2016 the XC90 Volvo. This is a hybrid, as you can tell right away by the inverter and the big yellow plugs. This thing has a massive condenser on it. So the condenser, and you see my arm here, the condenser goes somewhere from all the way over here, all the way, I mean, this thing reminds me of a 1959 Lincoln, all the way over to here. I mean, that thing's a good yard long. And it goes all the way from the top up here, all the way, you can see it coming to the top of the other heat exchanger for the intercooler right here. This thing is massive. Now they know how to build a condenser for cooling, but they have a reason for that. You know, they have the extra electronics they got to cool down. I cannot see where if they have it plumbed into a glycol heat exchanger or a hydronics loop for cooling off any electronics or battery packs or anything. But coming back here to back on this one, we have the air conditioning unit back here. And this, it appears, is just air conditioning. Uh, unless they do heat pump too, because there's no heater coil, there's no coolant loop to this. And this little tiny box looks like uh, right in here, the evaporator coil is not much wider than my hand and not much longer than my hand inside the case right here. Here's your uh, lines going to it. I could feel them getting cold because it's pulling out. It's starting to uh, condensate water on it. It's getting so cold. Big old heat sink for your speed controller for your rear blower motor. Your high pressure tanks for your um, air suspension on the vehicle. And I think the compressor pump is down here. Yep, this is the pump down in here for your high pressure air. And you can see the bags right, right here. If you can see that right there. Those are the air bags on the air suspension. And quite a bit of wiring. Check out all this wiring, different modules. Look at the curtain for your uh, airbag curtain. You blow off all these curtains back here, thousands of dollars up in smoke. A lot of wiring up there on the ceiling. More modules. You got your little speakers back here. Oh, I forgot to turn on the lights. Sorry guys, didn't realize it was so dark. Um, yep, I think uh, for the hybrid CX-90, I think this is the first one I've worked on. I don't think I've gotten to work on one of these models yet. So I don't know what's behind the grill here to see how they route everything. But I can see the compressor right there. And I could feel just my hands touching these lines. They're cold as hell. Really cold. The compressor is cold. Oh, there's the glycol loop. I'm sorry, I spoke too fast and I wasn't looking good enough. Look right here. Take a closer look. So here's your coolant lines. These have glycol in them. Here's your refrigerant lines. So where's the expansion device? Where do we cool out? So we have high side line, low side line into one block. Do we have sub cooling? I don't think so. They're just using, they're using this one terminal block so you could tap into the high side, the low side. Then it tees off right here where you can see. And then it looks like they have a little solenoid valve right here. Because see that big metal pole coming up the middle? That's to make the field coil, to make the magnet to pull up and allow the refrigerant to flow through this little tiny plate heat exchanger. And I really wish I would have turned on the light for you guys, but it's too late now. Um, so this is the glycol loop with the refrigerant to cool off the glycol. And I don't know where it goes to. Oh yeah, these are getting all nice and cold taking a long time to pull the refrigerant out of this one. I should have busted out my other recovery unit because this is a dual AC system and it's a hybrid. So between all the passages, actually I'm gonna have to hook up my high side one here because they have solenoid valves on some of the circuits and some of them are probably closed. So the trapping, they might be trapping refrigerant trapped in the other side of the circuit. So I gotta get hooked up over here for recovery. Otherwise, I'll be here for an hour recovering refrigerant on this little car. And uh, this is another one. I'll be doing this one. Yeah, taking apart this one. 
see, I got two more going on here. Oh, here comes another one. I gotta get approval for that one. Looks like they'll be doing the core support, taking that down. Uh, that one I won't be touching for a while. This one I'm pulling the vacuum on. This one is YF refrigerant. Yeah, this one is YF. This was the one with the broken little clip from the Toyota little plastic clip. That's a Toyota factory condenser. You can tell the fins are very small and very uniform. You almost have almost 21 or 20 fins per inch. And you have 50 some tube count. This is a really good condenser. It's not a cheap aftermarket one. So I got that one there. And then got the little Honda Fit over here. So this one, they just finished the detailing. They're gonna deliver this one right now after I'm finished. They're just waiting on me. And as usual, you see my sticker there. And I do not have the date written in because I have not added refrigerant. I write in the date after I have put in the refrigerant and that tells me that I have done it. And uh, all right, I'll get back to you guys in a minute. I gotta finish up and I have to add refrigerant to this one and refrigerant to the other one.